The most popular scripted drama series on Netflix prompted writers and directors to turn it in to a reality game show. Squid Game The Challenge is now streaming on Netflix and is described by its contestants as one of the most mentally and physically taxing endeavors of their lives. But one Minot man was up for the challenge and he told me all about the journey. <laughs> Ben George was one of the 456 players vying for a $4.56 million prize in the Netflix original game show, Squid Game The Challenge. The Minot native says he's a huge fan of the original drama series, as well as of KX News's, which prompted him to apply as a contestant. KX News actually had a story about applying for the show back in August of last year. And so I just went online, applied. The very next day, I got called. He says the audition process took months, but he received his final callback and was booked on a flight to London to compete for the largest cash jackpot in reality TV history. The show was in London. We filmed in London. Uh, it was actually two hours from London at an old like, military base. Contestants quarantined for six days, then got shipped off to the game site. As we walk in, our jaws drop, and you're just like, wow, there it is. Uh, what you see is the normal reactions of all of us walking in and seeing that they built this huge set that we've watched on Netflix before, and they recreated it. Contestants go straight into the first challenge, which is arguably the most famous game of the Netflix series, Red Light, Green Light. In the show, you see the game last about five minutes. But in real life, the game lasted 11 hours. It was cold there. I mean, but being from North Dakota, I'm used to the cold or whatever. But people from Florida and everything, they were like struggling with it. It was about 20 degrees when we were playing. Um, it was an experience. I mean, probably the toughest game I've ever played in my life. He says it was a physically taxing game, of course, but there was also a lot of strategy involved, too. Uh, beforehand, there was a bunch of us trying to figure out how to play the game or, like, which way to move. I actually, the first round, I got caught in an awkward position and held it for a while. Uh, the next round, I did the same thing, and I was like, okay. So then I put my hands in my pockets and just shuffled your feet. That was pretty much the easiest way to move. Even though George was eliminated in the first game, he played Red Light, Green Light for nine straight hours. He said the game was fun and a dream come true. But the best part was the people he got to meet. The friends that I've made there, uh, I talked to these people every day. Right before I even came in here, I was talking to a couple of them. Uh, they all, we all meet up once in a while. They have special meetings for everyone, and people fly everywhere to see each other. Squid Game The Challenge Season 2 is in the works right now, and applications are open. George says he's applying for Season 2, and he encourages anyone who is thinking about it to do the same. Squid Game The Challenge Season 1 is now streaming on Netflix.